concept of magnetism in regards to motors. Why is magnet and magnetism important in motors? Concept of magnetism is a very important phenomenon in regards to motors. It is a concept that will help us know how to design every motor. Through analysis of the magnetism, we will analyze the motor's applications too. In our previous video, we talk about the importance of earth magnetic fields, you can check it out. A bar magnet is material which has magnetic fields. Magnetism and electromagnetic fields are a very broad topics. But we will just brief on what it entails. Taking a bar magnet, it can contain south and north pole. Unlike poles attract, while like poles repels. We can know the direction of magnetic fields around a bar magnet, using a compass. Compass aligns its needle with magnetic fields around a bar magnet. Basically, the direction of magnetic field around the magnet is from north to south. Having a U-shaped magnet forms the magnetic field between the south and north pole even more stronger. Arranging three magnets as shown, rotating the middle magnet, creates a slight rotation with the other magnets. With these concepts, we can add more magnets, and try to rotate the outer magnets, these create rotation in the middle magnet. Therefore the concept of rotation of these magnets, is a principle which will help us in motors. Rotating a magnet directly within motors is simply difficult. Therefore induction of magnetic fields in the coil forms a basic motor operation. But electric current flowing through a conductor, induces some magnetic fields. Having a basic circuit, both electric field and magnetic fields are formed. With these concepts, we can now proceed to induce field that creates torque in motor's rotation. Furthermore, we need to know the exact direction of these fields in a conductor. Having a basic circuit consisting of conductor, a switch, battery, and a bulb. Adding a cardboard, and spread iron needles, switching the circuit on and current passes in the conductor, the iron fillings will rearrange as shown. Furthermore forming a coil in the same circuit, the iron fillings are rearranged as shown. Hence we can start to trace how magnetic fields are formed, but for us to know the direction of the fields in regards to direction of current, we can use compasses in the same circuit near the conductor. For a single conductor carrying current, the compass arrange itself as shown. Similar to a conductor in a loop, therefore we can draw electric and magnetic fields as shown. Reversing the direction of the current. The direction of electric and magnetic field also changes. Also concept of a coil is also crucial since field strength also increases. In our next videos, we will analyze more on these magnetic field using basic laws such as Ohm's law, Faraday's law, Lorentz law, Lenz's law, Newton's third law of motion, and summarize them using right hand rule. So don't miss. I hope you found this video informative.
and if you did, subscribe, like and share. See you in the next one.